Recently, the admins added Bad Wars challenges like Sky Wars challenges but in Bad Wars. There are 30 challenges and I will complete 5 per video. Over time, the challenges you unlock get harder and harder, so as this is the first episode, I didn't struggle too much. That is of course also due to my insane 800 star Bad Wars tryhard skill. <laughs> Without any further ado, let's start. The Renegade Challenge In this challenge, team upgrades and traps are disabled and you can also not pick up any diamonds. Our reward is the Cat Death Cry. This challenge really shouldn't be all too hard, as long as I get quick games. If I get a long game, like a clutch game where I don't have a bat anymore, this is actually going to be difficult. If the game takes a long time and all your enemies have all the time in the world to get stacked with diamond upgrades but you can't, then that is uh, not easy. Also, I initially didn't want to do the actual challenges for daily December uploads. I initially wanted to do this later, after December, but uh, Hypixel Bear Wars added a new quest, and the new quest is to win, or not to win, but to play 10 games using these challenges, and let me just concentrate on taking this fella out. Here we go. And that quest basically gives you half a star in XP if you play 10 games with challenges activated. And basically you could just choose a challenge like uh, red light, green light, which you can easily just fail uh, without any consequences. You don't uh, have to do it. Like in this challenge, I can't physically pick up diamonds, but... Uh, the red light, green light challenge, for example, you don't have to do it. As soon as it's activated, you can just fail it and then you can play the game normally. So you could just choose that challenge every time for 10 games and just fail it, but still get half a star of XP every week. That would be great. Okay, also, this man doesn't take AB. Yeah. Alright, I got him, that's great. So what the deal with that is, I didn't unlock the red light, green light challenge yet. All the challenges that are unlocked by default, you can't really not do them. You have to do them as soon as they are activated. You can't uh, fail them and then just play normally, so you can't really use them for the 10 quest games. So I had to do the challenges in daily December uploads already, but I mean... It is content. Also, that guy seems to be anti-knockback cheating, but maybe they have like 20 CPS and a low ping. That's also possible. Whoa! This is where diamond upgrades would come in handy, not gonna lie. But as you can see... Wait, I can pick up the present! I really want to have that, not gonna lie, but I'm probably gonna die in the fight against this person. So that is... No, I'm not. Okay. Your anti-KB means nothing. <laughs> nah, they weren't cheating, I'm just kidding. And now we have a blue final and a gray final. I really shouldn't lose my bet here, otherwise it's gonna be difficult, as I said. If I lose my bet and it's a long clutch game, it's actually a challenge. So I know, okay, I know where both of these guys are. That's good. Let's see if I can backboard them. Probably not. But I was able to hit them towards me. No! What? <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, I am probably going to fail this challenge, honestly. Uh, Square Dog has some pretty insane hits. And when I say insane, I mean far. <laughs> I hope they don't have a golden apple. If they don't, which it looks like, I should be... Yeah, okay, no, they actually have a golden apple. They already healed a bunch. Are they gonna toss another fireball? Indeed. I sadly don't have another fireball. I have to kill him here? Okay, otherwise that would be bad. Look at the 10 emeralds. All right, I managed to win the challenge. Okay, that worked, one out of 10, but it doesn't say that I won the challenge. Let me check. Oh yeah, we did, and in five minutes, 53, which is not good. <laughs> I like all the statistics, and now we can claim our reward. Here we go, cat death cry. Wonderful, let's listen into it. So usually I use the epic dragon roar. It sounds like this. But now I have the cat death cry, which sounds like... Ah, here. 
<laughs> okay, I don't know why anyone would choose that. I mean, if you are a cute cat boy or a cute cat girl, then uh, you could probably choose that. The Warmonger Challenge. In this challenge, you are not allowed to buy any items that are part of the utility tab in the shop. The reward for this challenge is the Warrior Shopkeeper skin. So in other words, I am not allowed to use golden apples, for example. Yeah, as you can see, it's scrapped. Here we have the utility tab. And the pearls, only problem in clutches. Firebolts, that's kind of unfortunate. Magic milk, only a problem in clutches, there's two. And uh, these, I mean, pff. But golden apple, that's actually kind of hmm, not a fan of that. I mean, not a fan of not being able to use that. Holy! I took too long showing this off. <laughs> I kind of expected this to happen, but uh, I still got surprised, not gonna lie. Now it would be pretty cool to buy a golden apple, but I guess that's not gonna happen. I'm not allowed to use any utilities that help me in battle. Okay, you should be gone. That was close. Okay, blue is here. Luckily, I can use diamond upgrades this game. That is pretty handy. And I am not going to go for the safe option, but instead the option that helps me in bell the most, which is going to be sharpness. I was going to buy a golden apple, but I feel like that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, they don't have a bad defense. Hey, they're not gonna follow me? Why not? What did I do to you, Blue, that you don't want to follow me? Huh. Weird. I feel like I'm getting pretty lucky with these games, since solos usually is actually a hard mode, but right now I'm doing pretty well. I don't have opponents that are insanely sweaty, and that's pretty chill. Uh, I think I'm gonna go mid. It's pretty quiet right now, no one is going for me, so I... I'm going to go mid, get some obby, secure the win. We are just playing safe here. I'm kind of concerned that white might be incoming really soon, but it doesn't look like that yet. I should definitely have enough time to install Arby to secure the win. I mean, uh, Arby isn't forbidden in this challenge, I can use it. I mean, it's pretty questionable for an 800 star to buy Arby when there's only one opponent left. I mean, it's actually scary, I don't know, maybe a white is an insane PvP god. I don't want to lose games here. I'm just playing safe. If your friends make fun of you for buying obsidian, don't let them make fun of you. It is totally normal. Also, you don't take KB. Congratulations, sir. That is pretty cool. Okay, that was a good fight. That guy somehow survived my combo there, but he didn't survive that combo. Wonderful. Alright, we did it, 4 minutes 47, that's already 5,000 places uh, better than this one, 6.5k and 1.1k, pretty cool. And we get the Warrior Shopkeeper skin, does it look good? I don't know, we can probably not preview that, but here we go. So yeah, since we can preview, wait, we can? Hey, that looks actually pretty cool, I've been using Astronaut probably, I think, but this looks pretty cool. It's just a knight. Hmm, I'm gonna use that. I was gonna say, since you can preview anything, I'm gonna choose it so you can see it in the next game, but we can preview it, and it looks really cool. Alright, six win streak, by the way. We're gonna lose that, definitely. I mean, we still have to win three games with challenges, but I guess uh, next challenge, yeah. The Selfish Challenge. In this challenge, you cannot drop any items or use the team and the Ender Chest. Reward for this challenge is the Bite Projectile Trail. At first, you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't a challenge, you can do everything just fine. The thing you might not know is, in resource management and Bear Wars, which is pretty important by the way, it is really, really important to use not that chest, but this chest, the inner chest. Without that, it's not a good time. Also, look at my warrior shopkeeper skin, looks pretty fancy. Yeah, if I can't use that, I'm basically, if I die, which that's gonna happen, I'm gonna give four gold and two iron to my enemy, and I am not able to use that myself anymore. And uh, that that is going to add up over time. Not only uh, are my enemies going to thank me for gifting them so many cool resources, but also I won't have as much as many resources as I would like to have. Oh yes, they missed it. If that's a solo's main, I'm probably not going to have a good time, since 200 stars as a solo main would be really insane. 
Oh my god, that was close. Intel added skin down. I still can't use those eight gold, but I will try to get iron armor before doing anything else here, so I don't have to waste those eight gold. I think that's a good thing. So in the end, we didn't waste any resources yet, and we surprisingly didn't die there, which against the solos main with 200 stars is pretty surprising. Just good that they missed their jump, otherwise it could have been not good. So yeah, that's pretty good. We got a quest, and also we spent most of our resources. I mean, we still have two gold. That's unfortunate, but whatever. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, I could buy a golden apple here. I could just, yeah, and who, and boom. Yeah, that's pretty good. So in the end, we only have one iron left. Wow. <laughs> we are resource efficient. The environment is thanking us for using our resources so well. All right, uh, blue versus green, no. Pink versus white, no. I guess I'm gonna go mid again. I'll be down. Also, two out of the three games we played so far, we actually got Arby. That's interesting. <laughs> I just got a bunch of golden apples with my gold that I had. I mean, I can't bank it anyway, so if I lose it, it's the same in golden apples and gold. Just I can use gold. Okay, that didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I'm just waffling around without any sense. Uh, also, I got a jump and a speed pot. That is going to be really useful. I'm actually gonna drink it right now. Why not? Here we go. Uh, I will take out blue first. And then I will get the green final. Pretty chillaxed. Shouldn't be all too hard. You didn't see that coming, did you? You definitely didn't. Ooh. You're a legend. Oh, just good that I have golden apples. No green, you are not going to get away. Oh, they have an iron sword. Ah, sad. Yeah, I don't know if I misaimed on green or something, but I mean, I'm not good at fighting with speed, so I guess that definitely was a factor in that fight. So one mistake on my side made them win the fight since they have a sharp iron. That is pretty. Okay, green got killed by Aqua. Aqua actually died, so I can just go to pink. Okay. Hello, pink. I'm just gonna swoop in, take a bet. Also, have you noticed already how manly my voice sounds today? Oh, yeah. I just got up, so this is kind of my morning voice. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. Okay, Aqua is a clown as well. I didn't say anything, Aqua. I just said nice things about your hair. <gasps> If this happens one more time, I swear I'm gonna go crazy, what the heck. I have to kill them here since I currently don't have a trap, so I can't just run past them. And also they know. Okay, yes, they are gonna... Actually, are they? Yeah, they are gonna void. They probably don't know how big of an advantage they just gave me. Since I don't have to kill them anymore in order to ensure them to be at their base rather than at my base. Also, if I fail one more easy parkour jump on this map, I will actually just disconnect and count this as a loss, since this is just getting embarrassing. I'm just embarrassing myself here. Okay, they don't seem to have a trap, and I don't have to pre-gap. No, I actually killed him. Okay, let's eat a golden apple. This should be not hard. They just randomly started comboing me. Well, <laughs> GG's. So this is a bite projectile trail. I'm not entirely sure how it looks. I think you can preview projectile trails. Let's see. Um, here we go. Legendary even. But I can preview it sadly. So we're not going to find out how it looks. But I'll choose it just for the sake of this video. The minimum wage challenge. In this challenge your resource generator is only half as fast as it usually is. The reward for this challenge is the it's raining gold final kill effect. I think I got a really good lobby for this. But this might actually be the most challenging challenge yet. I chose Skywise for this since it has a really really fast gen by default, but I will still have a significant disadvantage as opposed to my enemies. Alright. What? How didn't I get a hit on them? I don't know what I did there. What? Okay, now my bat is gone. That is really unfortunate.
Okay, that ladder clutch was really important. <sighs> okay, yes, they are just getting diamonds to get stacked in order to be able to kill me. I will use that to escape. Here we go. They are really close behind me, so I will I will jump away. I think Ray noticed that I'm here. Oh yeah, people behind me are fighting. Oh no. Okay, green just made the best thing they could do. They killed Gray, so Gray is actually here. Now they can 2v1 me, if green wants to. Okay, but I think I can safely go down here. Yes, okay. If you don't usually play Bear Wars, you probably don't know how much strategy goes into this right now. It is crazy. I'll tell you, strategy wins video games, for real. That's why GB80 is so good at the video game, even though they aren't the best at PvP. They don't need to be, since their strategy is so great. Alright, uh, sadly, Pink just took all the emeralds. I've got a feeling that Green is hiding. Also, my computer just played a weird sound. I don't know what that was. Okay, I got two emeralds. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died there. But I got four emeralds, better than nothing. I only have 22 blocks left and I feel like green is aiming at me with a fireball. <sighs> I will probably stop commentating so I can concentrate a little better. <sighs> I knew it. Yeah, okay, that's game. So sad. Alright, second attempt on the what's it called challenge again? <laughs> the minimum wage challenge. Last game we didn't even lose to the challenge, we just lost to losing a clutch when we got hunted down or something, I don't know, but definitely not to the challenge. And I also really love my new Shanky Biscuit, not gonna lie. Huge fan, huge fan. We are going to take out our first victim here, I don't know why I can't speed put. Okay, I missed that, I'm so stupid. <gasps> you have an iron sword? Doesn't matter, but what the heck. I have to keep in mind, red has sharpness, so that's dangerous. Oh, also, ooh, many things are happening, yellow is about to rush me, probably. Hopefully they're gonna rush green though. Oh no. Alright. Red, it is over. It actually is. <laughs> Wonderful. And I'm just gonna go for yellow and take their bed. <laughs> I'm not even playing well in this game. I'm just, again, using strategy to win. I've got a feeling that yellow is actually camping in their base instead of, yeah. Of course they are. Ah, let's toss this off. Let's play Yellow's little game with them. They have an Iron Sword. And they also don't want to move. I'm probably gonna lose this game, honestly. I don't see myself winning this. Green is so insane at PvP that I don't think I have a chance. Oh, that could have been my death. Now, this is not really base rushing equipment. Also, thank you for that, Green. This is more... I have to collect more emeralds equipment. But I think... Since green just took out yellow, or at least they're bad, and someone is gonna die there, probably. Green actually died, okay. Uh, I think the smartest call is to go for that right away. They are on half health, I have pre-gap health, and a sharp diamond sword and a pearl. So there's not m much that could go wrong here, also I just realized this is yellow base. <laughs> yeah, I'm dealing so much damage, it's honestly OP. There you go. Boop. Oh, finally. I didn't see myself losing that. I mean, the first game. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. But then again, we did it now. When Swig is gone, but that doesn't matter all too much. What matters is that we actually managed to win this minimum wage challenge in 9 minutes and 9 seconds. Which is still better placed than this one. Even though that was like half as fast. Weird. Anyways, it's raining gold final kill effect. Right click to preview. Yeah. 
Looks pretty fancy. I think that was a forest challenge. So next up we have... The Assassin Challenge. You can only break the bed of your assigned target and until you eliminate every member of your assigned target's team, you can't break any other beds. After you've taken out your assigned target, you will get another target to assassin next. The reward of this challenge is the Assassin Island Topper. Alright, I chose Airshow here to have easy access to emeralds and let me tell you, I know last game I said that that was probably the hardest challenge yet and I have to say it again this is probably the hardest challenge of the entire video this just completely ruins the whole game as I told you earlier strategy is really really important in Bad Wars it's crucial to winning most of the time and uh, this is just completely ruining every strategy that I can come up with when it comes to taking out teams this is not what you want to go for. Also, I feel like we have a person that's trying to be sweaty here. Uh, I will get prod. My bet is going to disappear this game. I can't do anything against that. Okay. This man is really trying to be sweaty, but so far I am able to with withstand that. <laughs> Fancy English. Uh, advanced English phrases and stuff. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, it doesn't look good for me. Gray is probably gonna be the one taking out their first rush. And I don't think I can camp long enough for someone else to take out Gray. I'm not sure if this is smart. Like, I could just be completely stupid here. Maybe it is actually the play to just go to mid, dip your bed, get emeralds. And as soon as I realize that, it's probably gonna be too late. Don't waste another trap. I mean, another, that would be the first trap they wasted so far, but you know what I mean. <sighs> yes, that is so good. If Grey dies now, I have a pretty big advantage. Okay, I have to kill this yellow guy, otherwise I have a problem. If their ping wasn't that low, it would be real, really a little bit easier. Okay, next target is yellow. That is so good for me. I was hoping for that. I was actually hoping for that. Okay, uh, I'll get sharp and then I will take out yellow, my first rush. Oh, yes, I was hoping for that so much. What? White doesn't know what they're doing. But why? Okay, I'm dead here. That could have been so good, but white just randomly did something insanely stupid. Now I'm gonna get 2v1. Oh my god, they were low for some reason. Okay, that is good for me. Okay, yeah, white. Okay, no, actually, I was white's next rush, so I understand why that happened. Green is actually... No. It doesn't matter. I don't know if green is any good. Yeah, green is really good. This is my end. Actually, it is not. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go for emeralds just yet. I will go for a base first. Alright, yes, they are close behind me. But they in no world ever should be able to win here. They have to come on me so much in order to do that. That is just impossible. I probably should have failed the assassin challenge since I didn't take out any of my assigned targets. I'm just gonna take out green as soon as they take out yellow. So that was not really worth anything. I will get two emeralds. That's gonna enable me to uh, get invis and invis rush them as soon as I have as soon as I have their bed. I don't want to waste my pearl. I really don't want to do that. Okay, they think I already ran towards them. That's what I was trying to do. Now I can just fireball them off probably. Actually, no. I just <gasps> no. I wasted my pearl. Okay, I have to get out of here. <sighs> so if you want to understand what happened there. My pearl hotkey is also my ladder hotkey. So I just wasted a pearl trying to place ladders. That could honestly just lose me the game. I will get another pearl. I scared green so much that they don't even want to li li leave their base anymore. And I'm already starting to stutter since adrenaline. <laughs> I don't want to lose this game at any cost. I have to plan already what I'm gonna get here. I think it's the smartest call to go here. Uh, I will definitely get a pearl. And then I still have six, so I will get... Should I just get armor? 
In that case, I probably don't need any pots anymore. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, armor and pearl. And then that way I'm pretty unbeatable. I have prod 3, diamond sword, armor, everything. Okay, pre-gap once more. Okay, good. They shouldn't stand a chance against me anymore. That should just be a win for me. As long as I don't waste my pearl again. <laughs> but that shows that I wasn't really paying attention. Usually, I am uh, paying really, really close attention to that. Because if you waste a pearl, you are pretty likely to die. Since as, as soon as you get a pearl, you are just getting in a strategic situation that you can't really get out of as, as easy anymore. Uh, luckily, I wasn't in too strategic of a situation. Um, and luckily... <laughs> Queen actually disconnected, so in fact, I didn't take out anyone this game. I actually didn't take out anyone this game. The Assassin Challenge, I'm gonna get a win for that, but it's not really like I won it. I didn't really win it. <laughs> it's so stupid. I didn't take out a single team this game, but I still won the Assassin Challenge. <laughs> oh my god. This is the most ironic thing ever. Okay, I got an achievement through Challenger 2, finally. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we get the Assassin Island topper. <laughs> we don't deserve any of that, but it's cool. I'll claim it. Here we go. And let's preview it. I think what it is is just a sword as well, but it looks a little more ninja-y. Or I guess assassin-y. Yeah, that should be it. What? I mean, there's definitely a sword island topper that you get by completing challenges, but I guess that is not the one. That is just the worst island topper I think I've ever seen. I mean, I understand what it's supposed to be, but it looks so bad. I mean, just good that it wasn't a good island topper, otherwise I wouldn't deserve it. That is it, the assassin's blade. You can't properly see it. Unlock through challenges. Hmm. Apparently not the Assassin Challenge. I guess we are going to find out in the far, far future, in one of the future episodes of this wonderful challenge that you are not going to miss as long as you subscribe to the wonderful channel, Modern Legends LP. It is completely free. Consider doing it. <laughs> Let's get right into the outro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see me completing the next five challenges next week and also for all of my other daily December uploads. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night and goodbye.